So how do you structure a self-help book? Well, it's pretty basic. You start by defining the problem. What is the problem the reader has that this book is going to help her resolve? Now remember that this chapter or section of the book really has to tie in tightly with your title and your subtitle combination and the promise of the book. And the more urgent the problem, the more exciting the book will be for the reader, the more compelling your book will be. Second, what is the history of the problem? How did the reader come to have this challenge? Third, what else does the reader need to know before tackling this challenge? This could be a rather large part of the book as you go into the various aspects of the problem and how it plays out in the reader's life. Fourth, the action plan or takeaway. This is really the core of a self-help book. It might be structured into 21 days or 28 days or 365 days to reach your goal. It might also be structured into steps, the three steps you need to take to achieve this goal. Here you have very practical information and lots of exercises. Fifth, this is what I call the troubleshooting, maintenance, challenging time section of the book. Here you help the reader look forward into the future and you acknowledge that it's not always going to be easy to keep up with this new habit. So for example, if you were writing a nutrition or weight loss book, you might have a section on the challenging time of traveling or holidays when it's difficult to stick with the plan. If you were writing a book on parenting, you might have a section on as your child gets older, the new challenges you'll be facing. Finally, you want to be sure that you end the book on a positive note, looking forward, and with contact information so that readers can stay in touch with you in case you have future books and future information that can help them. So be sure to put your social media contact information, your website information, and an email address. And that's pretty much it. So if you like to work out your ideas on paper and just be all over the place with free writing, that's great. But do come back to this basic structure before you create your chapter outline, and I think you'll be really pleased with the results.